Hi guys and welcome to TechTeamGB. Now this video is going to be basically how to set up the Overclockers UK premium triple monitor arm. This is probably going to be fairly similar to a lot of monitor arms that are just kind of single action or single sort of movement. Uh, so these aren't the kind of, you know, really nice uh, uh, hydraulic kind of ones. This is just a, a bar that holds three monitors. Uh, this one's up to 24 inches, um, you know, sort of in uh, in a line. So. Um, the first thing I want to note is that, uh, well, this base here uh, sh uh, does come with a large uh, sort of foot that you can put on it um, and that attaches very easily with four screws and that allen key that's included. Uh, I am going to be uh, attaching this directly to the table, as you can see with the drill here, I'm going to be drilling into the table uh, because as you can see here, um, the project that I'm doing requires me to cut out some very large aspects of the, this table, so um, I don't mind drilling into this table anymore. So. Um, that just makes it a little bit more secure. Uh, I'm using uh, slightly smaller screws in the front so that it doesn't go all the way through, but slightly longer screws in the back so that it goes all the way through the back panel as well, uh, just for a bit of extra stability. Uh, and if that isn't uh, you know, enough, then I'll go to a bigger screw size once it's all installed, but hopefully that should be fine and uh, all good. So without further ado, let's uh, drill into the table and then we'll get onto the rest of the mounting. It's actually pretty simple. So first things first, once you've attached the base to either the base plate or the table that you're you know, going for, um, you just drop the pole in. Now because I'm attaching this to the table and not the base plate, I'm actually using the end with the rubber cap um, inside the uh, housing here and because mine wobbled a little bit, I put a little bit of tape uh, around the bottom just to act as a little bit of a sort of shock absorber and spacer, but otherwise it's very simple. Um, all you do is take the arms that you, uh, you know, got in the box, these ones are a little bit loose and actually didn't come with a fastener or a, an allen key that fits in this which is a little bit annoying um, but it's not the end of the world it's not as if they're you know gonna shake and fall off um, but uh, all you do is basically sheath it over um, if you uh, if you like drop it down to uh, whatever height you fancy um, and then there's a little uh, allen key bolt on the back and you get the allen key with it um, so just uh, tighten that one up to whatever height you fancy uh, which is already too tight, and uh, away you go. Attaching the monitor to its mount is really simple. It's just four screws that you can put in in a uh, effectively a square pattern. Make sure they're done up tightly, and then to attach the monitor to the stand, it's basically just a single screw with a washer through the back. Yeah, it's a sort of hand tightening screw, uh, so it's really simple. The central monitor though is a little bit more difficult, as there's a spring in the middle that basically, uh, in sort of long story short, means that I recommend you attach the actual mounting plate to the stand first, and then attach the monitor afterwards. Uh, and you will definitely need someone to help you with this as it's a lot of pain to actually get on uh, first time easy. So as you might have seen from the second camera, uh, mounting the center monitor is actually a bit of a pain and I personally recommend attaching the mounting plate first. Uh, basically put the plate down, put the spring um, on top of the bit that goes into the sort of hole, which is a very bad <laughs> definition, but um, you put the screw in the bottom, screw it in, and then I personally recommend putting the monitor on after that um, because it means you have a lot more space to be able to work um, with the sort of center mounting point um, because that is a little bit of a pain, but otherwise, yeah, it's a, a fairly easy process, doesn't take all that long, and if you're looking for a monitor stand, I think for uh, it's probably better for 22 inches personally, um, rather than 24, as it does seem to sag a little bit. Um, but overall, it's a pretty good monitor stand, and I uh, overall uh, recommend it as such. So uh, yeah, thanks to Overclockers UK for sending this to me, by the way, um, and letting me use it for my project. Um, and if you want to know more about the project, the thing that's under this uh, sheet of glass down here, then do check out the uh, DIY budget, budget desk PC um, series. I think there's something like six videos total. And the next one will be out uh, on Friday at 8 p.m. Uh, GMT, so do check that one out uh, as that will be uh, pretty awesome. I think that, that one is the uh, sort of how to build the actual desk itself and cutting into it and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, overall, pretty decent. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful. And all that sort of stuff, feel free to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, at TechTeamGB on both. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment if you found the uh, video useful or didn't, and uh, feel free to like and dislike as well. And other than that, we'll see you all in the next video.